On the Republican side, there's speculation that developer Donald Trump may throw his hat into the ring. His name is already well known to millions of Americans, thanks to the Trump Tower and other real estate holdings. The speculation was fueled by ads that Trump took in three newspapers today. Christopher Jones has that story. To this morning's readers of the New York Times, the Washington Post, and the Boston Globe, Donald Trump's full-page open letter to the American people may have looked like a rich man speaking out on American foreign policy. Why'd you write the letter? Because I'm frustrated at looking and seeing the stupidity of what's going on in this country with respect to our, essentially, our foreign policy. Fair enough. But some ask, would Donald Trump pay $95,000 to complain about foreign policy, or is this his way of saying he's running for president? The ads come at a time when a draft Trump movement is building steam in New Hampshire. So we asked him. Are you running for president? Absolutely not. I'm not running. I have no intention of running. I'm greatly honored that this New Hampshire group sees fit to choose me as opposed to others because it's a very credible group. Everybody's been trying to get their support, and I'm very honored. And anybody would we may have to wait to see how most of the nation I'm takes to Donald Trump, but at least one New Yorker has already made up his mind. Uh, I find those uh, ads uh, ridiculous. He spent $100,000 for self-advertisements. Who's really interested in his foreign policy? Anybody? Maybe Mrs. Trump. Ed Koch has been a disaster as a mayor. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. I want to make it very clear. I'm very biased. I don't like him. Ed Koch has been a lousy mayor. I believe he'll go down as probably in history the worst mayor in the history of the city of New York. And, you know, when I say that, it's hard for him to say, I really like Donald Trump. So right now, ask Donald Trump if he wants to be president of the United States, and he will tell you no. But if a wave of support develops for him in New Hampshire, don't look for Donald Trump to get out of the water. Christopher Jones, Fox News, Channel 5.